Marking the 25th anniversary of ADEQ's Pollution Prevention Program, September 18th to the 24th of 2016 has been proclaimed by Governor Ducey as Arizona Pollution Prevention Week. Please join us as we discuss pollution prevention and celebrate 25 years of reducing pollution in Arizona. Pollution Prevention, or P2, focuses on source reduction. Source reduction involves avoiding the creation of waste or the use of toxic chemicals to prevent the need to manage or dispose of them. Anyone can prevent pollution, from an individual homeowner to the largest corporation. Check out ADEQ's P2 House on the Web for pollution prevention tips at home. The Pollution Prevention Planning Program was first created in 1991 by the Arizona Legislature with House Bill 2121. The state policy encourages all businesses to practice P2 and support environmentally responsible growth. The need for pollution prevention in Arizona became apparent in the late 1980s when the amount of hazardous wastes generated by businesses increased at an alarming rate. Rather than approve the creation of a hazardous waste incinerator and landfill, the legislature enacted a regulatory program to start reducing those wastes at the source. This program, the P2 planning program, requires that certain Arizona businesses reduce the use of toxic substances, minimize the generation of hazardous waste and prevent the release of pollutants into the environment by creating and implementing a P2 plan that is reviewed and accepted by ADEQ. The first industry P2 plans were received in 1993 from 158 facilities. Since then, the number of Arizona facilities reports have increased with a total of 334 facilities reporting their hazardous waste and toxic chemical reductions this year. The Pollution Prevention Act in Arizona also empowered ADEQ to create a technical assistance program and provide information about hazardous waste reduction and other environmental improvements. In June 1994, ADEQ invited many of Arizona's largest hazardous waste generators to form a partnership to reduce their wastes. With financial and technical assistance from the EPA, sector teams were set up for peer mentoring in various industries, as well as major military bases and mining teams. Known as P3, the Pollution Prevention Partnership consisted of ADEQ staff and environmental staff from these facilities who met regularly to discuss waste issues across sector boundaries. From 1994 to 2001, P3 grew to more than 100 members consisting of Arizona's largest industries and five military bases. A P2 newsletter kept the companies in the loop and outstanding companies received awards for their documented P2 work. In 1996, the ADEQ P2 unit expanded its business partnership activities to the international border regions of Ambos, Nogales, and San Luis and proposed the formation of a new Arizona-Mexico international green organization called AMIGO. Leading to voluntary pollution prevention activities in the Arizona-Sonora border region, AMIGO focused on maquiladoras, which are international manufacturing operations with twin plants on either side of the international boundary. It was subsequently funded as a separate program by the EPA and administered by the Border Programs Unit in ADQ's Southern Regional Office. The Arizona Pollution Prevention Leadership Enhancement, APPLE, program was also created as a result of the Amigo project. In 1992, ADEQ received a $200,000 Pollution Prevention Incentives for States grant from the EPA, PPIS, to fund the APPLE program activities including P2 demonstrations, recognition awards, a quarterly newsletter, and technical seminars. September 16th to the 22nd, 1996, ADEQ and the P2 unit celebrated its first National P2 Week with speeches, a presentation of the Governor's Proclamation to facilities offering tours, and a demonstration and tour of the flash jet coatings removal process at McDonnell Douglas Helicopter Systems in Mesa. On November 12th, 1997, ADEQ's P2 unit staff, in cooperation with BHP San Manuel, the EPA, and Arizona Mining Association, sponsored the first ever P2 event in the Mining Industry Seminar. It was held at the San Manuel Conference Center and featured information from environmental representatives from many of Arizona's and New Mexico's mines, ADEQ regulators, environmental consultants, university professors, and vendors of environmental goods and services.
1998's National P2 Week featured the Arizona Military P2 Conference, highlighting P2 efforts of military facilities throughout the state. Military bases, the National Guard Reserve Units, and ADQ staff exchanged successful environmental program and waste reducing technology information. Luke Air Force Base and ADEQ hosted and sponsored this conference respectively, the first of its kind in the nation. In 1999, ADEQ P2 staff partnered with Arizona Game and Fish and Valle Luna Restaurant to produce a boating pollution prevention film affectionately called P2 Boater. This film was seen by 35,000 people the first week it showed at the Arizona State Fair. In 2000, ADEQ's P2 program sponsored a U of A study to control whiteflies on cotton farms with integrated pest management, saving farmers $9.2 million by doing away with the need for expensive and toxic pesticides. In 2005, ADEQ's Green Business Program was launched with the Green Automotive Shops Program. ADEQ met with representatives from Contra Costa and Sonoma County, California to discuss the possibility of piloting a green business program in the automotive sector in Arizona. After several presentations to the Board of Rocky Mountain Fleet Association, the program took shape around a series of checklists for fleet and auto shops. In 1998, P2 staff formally presented the idea that the ADEQ and new ADOA buildings should be built to the LEED standard. ADEQ's building was ultimately certified as LEED Silver with a large solar array and many efficient and water-saving features. ADOA's building had many of the same LEED-related features and received an Energy Star rating. Opus Development went on to build the Mojave County building to LEED standards. In 2003, the director asked P2 staff to accept the Governor's Award for energy efficiency for the building. The P2 unit also successfully got ADEQ's new office registered as Arizona's first commercial green building. Many staff members contributed to the success of the P2 unit's technical assistance activities through the years and were recognized for their significant efforts at preventing pollution in Arizona. This year's P2 Week celebration includes webinars on September 20th and 21st, highlighting the P2 successes of several facilities in the planning program. Plus, the ADEQ website will feature pollution prevention information, tools and resources, focusing each day on a theme including trash, transportation, food, energy and air, and water. We hope you'll join us along with Governor Ducey in celebrating 25 years of P2 in Arizona.